Let me, I have a written statement, let me, let me get it. A written statement, okay, that's, that's interesting. So this is my statement uh, here, uh -huh. that um, in Matthew 19.24, uh -huh. and again I say to you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. So are you, are you against rich people? I'm sorry? Are you against rich people? Let me continue. A rich man can believe in God. Can't. Can. Can't. It's explained here. Right. A rich man, this rather means one who loves his riches and makes an idol of them, or one who's supremely desires to be rich so somebody they don't have to uh, love their riches more than their fellow human mankind their fellow uh, beings they can love other things in life more than their riches they can still carry um, the beliefs of God they can still have a spiritual life but if they only love if that's their own greatest love is their riches that is a problem. Honey, I'm the Antichrist. Not him. Who's he? Oh, Romney. Romney. Oh, no, he's just anti poor people. I know. I know. We were just talking about the rich man. So, so let me try to understand. Are you against the rich people in general or what? What's, what's, no, what's the thing? He definitely is. He is. Are you? No, he is, as in Jesus. The rich people need to give a little more because they have so much they don't like, give like, any, so the like, rest of us live in Like so days. much more. Like what? Like how much more? Like a lot more. Like, like how much? You'll never see this man with all his billions of dollars giving uh -huh. to the poor or feeding the homeless. Ever. Never uh, how much? How much Biden gave to charities? Oh, Do you know, know Joe Biden? No. How much? How he much? Gave? Virtually nothing. I don't even know uh, if Obama's giving anything. Do you know That's the much problem. The average CE CEO oh, makes no. 185 times the amount of the average American worker. Well, 185. So how? Times. So how much do you think he should he should make? Okay, I'm so sorry. While you're recording me. I'm recording you. Good, good. So don't let me be in camera. <laughs> let me repeat this. Yes. This ra okay, a rich man. This rather means one who loves his riches and makes an idol of them. So it's what I'm saying is someone who loves them so much that they make an idol of their riches. Uh -huh. That person, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man. Such yeah, but one uh, I described look, Jesus. <laughs> to enter into the kingdom of God. <laughs> okay, God, explain to me in your own words what's what's your idea? I mean, what's uh, with with the re I mean, you're protesting here because he is rich. Uh, me, Romney, he is antichrist because he is rich. Uh, I mean, what's 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 your beef with rich people? Uh, I just don't well, get it. He's, uh, I'm saying what I'm saying is that people should. This is my. Uh, advising the people that see this, advising them that they are well, be well uh, advised to vote for the op Barack Obama, the opposition. Of, uh, why? Why? Why is Obama better? Are you happy with uh, what Obama has done oh, so I'm far? Very happy. You're very happy. Are you happy with unemployment rate? You're happy. With well, if it wasn't the for our President Clinton pointed out, if it wasn't for Obama. We, uh, the very first week that he took office, we were heading towards uh, a complete financial meltdown and he prevented that from happening. Do you believe in Armageddon? If uh, this man wins, you will see Armageddon. So uh, the reason if this I, wins, the, the reason, the there reason, will be a nuclear war. look, look, the reason I ask you that is because the argument, it all being worse, 
doesn't really cut it because uh, you can say that about everything. I mean, well, you can I say if not for Obama, I, there will be no, Armageddon, no? I personally... Uh, Your argument would be still no, no, valid. I, I like Obama a lot, but for... Uh -huh. I'm down here at Occupy Wall Street, uh -huh. and for many of the young people down here... He, unemployed people, uh, you know, that he has the highest number of unemployed people. Well, let me... You keep on interrupting. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, advising them to vote for... Barack Obama. Uh, uh -huh. I'd like to, I don't know if you're familiar with history, it doesn't sound like you are. I took FDR three full terms to turn the Republican mess back then. It was the same history repeats itself. I don't know if anyone explained this to you. Uh, hold on. They were also, before uh, FDR, they didn't have regulation, which caused the 29 crash and caused uh -huh. the depression. It took FDR three terms uh -huh. to turn the economy around and turn it into a full, uh, to a full, healthy, robust economy with very, very almost zero, very, very low unemployment, almost zero percent unemployment. It took three or three terms. So uh -huh. people are unrealistic that they think in one term he can solve all the world's problems. He needs more another term. Okay, two things. First of all, don't you think by the same token that uh, if not FDR's uh, uh, policies, then perhaps uh, we could have gotten uh, uh, out of depression much faster than the way uh, FDR, as opposed to the policies implemented by the FDR? I mean, by the same token, by the same logic. Oh, wait a minute, we're such a shithole. Well, maybe, maybe if there was a Republican instead of FDR, it would have taken three terms for him to. No, if there would have been a uh, Republican, we, 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 depression would have lasted much longer. And just the fact that the banks he created, the FDIC, which got people's faith back in the banking system, and the depression would have would have just uh, prolonged itself. Uh, okay, look, I have, I have a simple question, if I may ask. Where are you from, if I may ask? Uh, USSR, originally. And you think FDR made a mistake? You think a Republican would have done uh, better? Of than course. FDR? Why I, do no, you think I, that? Okay, let, let's, let's talk about the current Why do you policies think, first. Wait, no, 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 no. Why do you think a Republic, Republican, you uh -huh. obviously don't know history, it's Republicans, uh -huh. the lack of deregulation, uh -huh. because it was the same thing that just happened uh, in... 2008, which happened in 28 and 29, no regulation. There was too much debt. It caused uh, the liquidity crisis, and it took the Democrats three terms to make up for the, the destruction that the Republicans caused. They have uh, just, I don't know if you listen to President Clinton's speech when he endorsed Barack Obama, but you, you need to get your facts straight. That's when we had a surplus. Uh -huh. That's when he taxed the, ri the rich. Uh -huh. Obama, they won't let him tax the rich because he's, uh, they just won't let him do it. So you, you, you want to tax, tax the they rich? But, let, but let's you have to balance okay, the budget. Look, Wait, you look. have to. Look, Clinton said uh -huh. during the endorsement speech, he uh -huh. explained. People ask me, how did I balance the budget? How did I get a budget surplus? I can sum summarize that in one word. Uh -huh. It's called arithmetic. arithmetic. I, I listen to his speech. These idiot he's, Republicans, he's, are, no, uh -huh. no, they're, they're evil, they're stupid, they can't uh -huh. add straight. Uh -huh. Can you explain to me uh -huh. how they want to lower taxes on the rich and uh -huh. spend more money on defense and that's going to balance the budget? They're stupid. Uh -huh. They're stupid. Uh -huh. And you support that? Yes. No. Uh, I, let, let, I'm going to say some unJesus like things. I have to spark the waves right now. Uh, all right. All right. I'm going to say some <laughs> even some